Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Chef Charlie here. Um, I know y'all missed me on Sunday. Um, I know y'all was expecting y'all weekly Sunday upload, but this Sunday, um, I actually did not do Sundays in Charlie's Kitchen. Um, my church, my church's ninth year anniversary was this Sunday so we had a meal after church and I just really want to relax because I have been running ripping and running the whole week getting prepared for the um getting prepared for the anniversary celebration so I hadn't even planned a meal or anything like that we were doing practices and we did um clean up and decoration cooking and breaking down for um for anniversary so um, I decided to just make dinner today is uh, Tuesday so I decided to um, just make a video while I make dinner for tonight so on tonight's menu is cabbage and sausage with some um, veggies brown rice and uh, I have a sweet potato in the oven right now that that sweet potato is more so for Coop than it is for me because he really likes uh, He really likes um, sweet potatoes. So I'm going to give him half of that sweet potato for dinner tonight and then the other half I'm going to send for lunch tomorrow. All right. I like to do a lot of two-in-one meals, um, especially especially because I send Cooper to daycare with his, with his own food. Um, so when I make dinner, I'll give him dinner and then I'll take whatever I made for dinner and change it up a little bit, add something different and send it for lunch, um, for him. So two in one meals are really like a chef's best friend sometimes, especially a, a, a mommy chef, hashtag mommy chef. Um, so yeah, right now I just have my sausages, uh, rendering down in, in, there's my camera. Okay, here it is. I have my sausages rendering down in the pot. So that's what they look like. This is how I cut my sausages all the time, y'all know. Uh, I started off with my sausages being frozen, a little frozen, because I took it straight out of the freezer. So right now I'm just cooking it down. Brown rice is already on right here in this pot can't see it that's the handle to the pot but yeah so there's a small pot of brown rice already on um i have cabbage already as well i already cut um so usually when i buy a large head of cabbage um i'll just i'll cut it and i'll cut all of the cabbage up then i'll freeze half of it because it's just me and poop so i don't need a whole head of cabbage all right i want to show y'all what i've been the, the veggies that I'm cook, um, putting in there right now. So, let me get a good angle of my cutting board. Okay, let's see it a little bit. So, which, what I have on the cutting board right now is um, red onions, white onions, and this is how I cut it in strips and carrots. I really like these carrots. They're all different colors. They're organic carrots, so some of them are purple and yellow or whatever. So see, this is what the package looks like. Organic um, rainbow carrots. And Coop pointed these out in the store and like he wanted them. But obviously I gave it to him and he didn't eat it. So now I have to find a way to use them. So um, I'm gonna cook them in with the cabbage and onions. Oh, I also have bell pepper green bell pepper cut into strips so while my um, sausages are starting to render right now I'm going to finish cutting up my carrots and um, then throw those in there with the sausage okay yay so yeah so Sunday was really awesome um, we had so much fun we had done a lot of fundraising and everything up until up until that point on Sunday so it kind of all came together uh, we also celebrated my pastoral anniversary because 
as long as he's been pastoring, he's been pastoring that church. So it's our ninth church anniversary and our ninth pastoral anniversary at the same time. So that's really exciting. That was really exciting to be a part of. Shout out to Faithful Gospel Baptist Church. Um, so I'm just going to cut up a few more of these carrots. And so I expect for this um, cabbage to be really quick, not to take long at all. Um, see, look at this. This is so beautiful. I love like the colorful carrots. This one is like yellow, like a light yellow, almost white. And um, the way I'm cutting it, I'm just cutting it in half and then in half again, so quart quarters. Um, so I'm going to be working these carrots into a few dishes so that way I can use them and so uh, that this won't be a wasted purchase which you know like I said y'all know that I I believe in waste not want not so if I bought it and there's nothing wrong with it I'm going to try to find a way to use it I could probably make some stock too some chicken stock So, those sausages are looking really good. I forgot to cut up one of the sausages, so I'm breaking it with my spoon. Thought I got all of them, but that one's still whole. Okay. So, don't mind my stain. I had um, something with cheese on it, and then like the cheese is super melty, and it dripped down on my shirt. So, I'm hiding my stain. That's why I keep messing with my fidgeting with my <clears throat> shirt. Anyway, okay. So, got carrots, got bell peppers, got some. onions and some carrots so this is really exciting I'm going to pull the sausage out and I'm only going to use the fat from the sausage and cook the veggies down in it I'm going to season the veggies at the base of the cabbage and then I'm going to put I'm going to throw the frozen cabbage right down on top super easy really quick but yeah I know you guys are probably looking for a video so you know Boom, here you go. Look down in my videos. If you don't know how to cut cabbage, there is a chef tip of the week about cutting cabbage. Um, down in my video history. Because the cabbage that I'm using tonight is already cut. But if you don't know how or if you need a refresher, go pull that video up. This one is a small one, so I'm going to leave it in half. Um, go pull that video up and get your life and then go cut all the cabbages in the world and be like boom I know how to cut a cabbage okay Cooper where does that go in the sink right put it you finished are you finished with your cereal So for my second meal, I think um, Coop really loves beans. He loves beans a lot. Um, so I think that for my second meal, I'm going to reserve some of this sausage over and make a old, good old fashioned, a good old fashioned uh, pork and beans and sausage with brown rice for his lunch tomorrow. Because I have a can of, um, I thought I had corn, but I, I used my last corn. So, um, I didn't feel like going to the store. So, I was like, whatever's in the house is what I'm going to use. So, I have a can of uh, pork and beans that I get him because he really likes beans. And I'm going to put sausage in it and, and I'm going to give him the other half of his sweet potato and brown rice. And that's what he's going to take for lunch tomorrow. Okay. Thank <laughs> you.
Okay. All right, so my sausages are done. I'm going to pull them out and show y'all what they look like. And then at the bottom of my pan, like, you know, at the bottom of my pie right now is just a little bit of fat that rendered off from the sausage. It's a very thin layer of fat. It's not a lot of um, fat, but you only need a little, you know, because it's so flavorful that you don't need a lot of it. You just need that little bit that comes off, and that is enough to cook a whole pot of cabbage and sausage. So this is what the sausage look like when I just put it out of the pan. Okay, nice rendered down cooked sausage. That's what it looks like. And I'm done cutting my veggies. Veggies. This is what my cutting board looks like. Those are the veggies. Beautiful, colorful carrots and stuff. I love colors. That's one thing. If I if I have the choice, I want to cook with something that is colorful. So Red onions, green bell peppers, white onions, and rainbow carrots. Yay us. Yay us. The more colorful food you eat, the more vitamins you're getting. Because the vitamins is what's causing like um, chlor chlorophyll, which is what gives veggies their color. is made up of vitamins and minerals. So you hear people say eat your colors, that's why. So the more bright orange a carrot is, it's better for you. The more bright red an apple is, it's better for you. Um, and that's nature's, that is nature's answer to dyes. Like, you know, red dye 99 and yellow dye and blue dye and all of this stuff that is in uh, a lot of the artificially flavored, colored, and... Um, sweetened drinks and stuff like that that you'll get a red juice or a blue juice um the natural answer to that is just eating your colors like eating those colorful carrots and different types of lettuce you know green and purple and you know bright colored um foods because that's where your nutrients is so the brighter your food the better it is for you the more colorful your food the better it is for you So I just I just put my veggies in and um, I turned up the heat a little bit to get this going. Let me show you my cabbage. So this is my cabbage that I have already cut up. I labeled it cabbage, and um, so that's in the freezer bag. It's already cut and it's frozen. And I'm just gonna once I get my veggies cooked down to how I like them I'm going to add this frozen cabbage on top and close my pot and just let it steam and they call it smothered cabbage here but it's actually not smothered it's just steamed and sauteed um, all down and yummy smothered to me means covered with gravy or covered with some type of sauce so um, it's not really smothered you know Technically, it's not smothered. Alright. So, these veggies look really great. And... You want a sausage? Coop loves sausages. Uh -oh, just drop one. Here you go. Just one. The rest is for dinner. Um, so, when I... when I, he's, He knows what sausages smell like, too. So when I'm cooking it, he knows, and he's already standing down under the stove like, I want a sausage. So I, I, you know, when I have a lot of sausage, I give him snacks, but I don't have that much, so he's just getting one. All right. Um, yes, yeah, so but these vegetables look so good, y'all. I got to show y'all what they look like. This is what they look like cooking down inside of that sausage fat. See that sausage fat right there? That's all you need and not a lot at all. And just cook those carrots, onions, bell peppers down. Oh look, my camera's getting foggy. Sorry y'all, where's my camera? Okay, there it is. Hold on. Okay. And then she's back. 
Um, so yeah, that's what I hope y'all got a good view of the of the um, veggies. But um, so yeah, cook those veggies down. Put that cabbage right on top, and then I'll steam it for like and just until the cabbage is nice and soft for about. 20 minutes or so um, it's frozen so that water has already kind of expanded in in the leaves of the cabbage and it's already cut so it's not going to take long for the um, cabbage to cook down if this was fresh cabbage it would take longer but because it's already cut and it's been frozen the water that's naturally in the cabbage has frozen and expanded um, and kind of broken up the fibers and stuff of the cabbage. Also, by cutting it, you, you're breaking up the uh, the uh, molecular structure of the cabbage. Anyway, so um, so this is actually going to take a lot less time than it would uh, fresh cabbage. Yay! That's what I'm talking about. Quick, easy meals for busy mommies. It's the way to go. So um, I'm going to let these veggies cook down and put the lid back on my pot because I want them to really like get a good, a nice good little vibe going on in that pot. You see how the noise level completely changed in here when I put the top on there? Watch. It's so cool. It's like a vacuum or something okay so y'all um this is a 17 minute video i'm doing good i'm less than 20 minutes 20 minutes or less so i'm getting better um so the next video you guys will see is a um tasting video slash plating video um really excited to show that off to you guys it's just a tuesday night dinner it's not uh, a big sunday a big sunday deal like i usually do but um I know you guys are so happy to see that I'm giving you a video anyway this week. So, go subscribe. Subscribe. Turn on the bell so you can see whenever I do um, post another video. If you tap the bell, it'll it'll um, be in your notifications. Tap the bell. Subscribe. Share. Like. Comment. 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 I really want to hear y'all's comments. Like, for real. Because I see that y'all are uh, watching the videos. And um, I hope you guys are learning a lot. I really love doing this. And it's going to get better and better. I'm going to start having guests come. Um, you know, some of my favorite people come and cook with me and be a part of the, um, the channel with me. And um, I got some really good stuff planned, guys. Really exciting things coming, coming to you. So subscribe, hit the bell, like, comment, share. And um, I'll see y'all on my next video. Chef Charlie out.